everybody, Nessie B here. Welcome to Mother 3. Um, this is the 8th recording. I am so tired right now. All in one day. 20 minute episodes each. So, add that all up. What did we got here? 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. Like, 6 and a half hours is how much I would have recorded today. Yeah, that's how much how much uh, recording failure I have had. Um, I finally figured out what was going on. At first, I thought it was the 32-bit because I had the 32-bit VBA. Then I downloaded the 64-bit. That didn't solve anything because I have a 64-bit base system. Uh, then I tried uh, doing something with the AVI, which I finally figured out. Um, I can't record an uncompressed AVI with VBA, unlike the other two games, which that's really weird, but I have to compress it, which the video quality will be slightly lower, and that wasn't supposed to come up right now until I hit the A button, but it went up anyway. Um, Mother 3 Fan Translation. This is a free, unofficial translation made entirely by dedicated Earth Mother slash Earthbound fans. Please support the series by purchasing official merchandise, including the official translation if one is ever released. The Mother Translation Team on the 3.fobby.net. Um, yeah, this game was actually, uh, it was translated in, uh, Japan. It was, let me rephrase that. Um, in Japan, Mother 3 never, it was never localized into Europe or North America. Uh, Mother 2, also known as Earthbound, was released in North America in 1996, but we've never had anything else. Mother 1 was actually translated to English by Nintendo, but it was never actually uh, released, which is really weird. Um, we've never even seen a virtual console release, which, you know, in fact, uh, some of the people at Starman.net, they, uh, sent out a like a petition with like 30,000 signatures to uh and some like art like earthbound art and music fan made to Nintendo of Japan, Nintendo of America, Shigesato a toy himself and or was it Miyamoto? I think it was Shigesato a toy and uh there was some other company and not a word out of Nintendo. They didn't even bother to say, "Oh yeah, thanks." But nope, they didn't say anything. So the Starman.net people said, you know what, we've had enough of this, we're going to make our own translation. Now, emulating is technically illegal, but there is no other possible way to play Mother 3 in English. Um, yeah, this kind of told Nintendo off. Uh, talk about revenge, because the very first, we uh, um, when they translated this game to English and released it in the uh, on the very first weekend very first weekend 100,000 copies were downloaded so of the patch that is uh, of the English patch and that should yeah tell you off right now that Nintendo made a huge mistake ignoring its fan base cuz they just lost out on all that money um it was their own fault they didn't they didn't even listen to their fans they kept focusing on their stupid Mario and Zelda series which is completely overrated Galaxy was okay but Galaxy 2 it was a good game don't get me wrong but it was I mean come on it was just overdone it, it, it had nothing fresh about it Galaxy had the fresh stuff Galaxy 2 was just reused stuff it was overdone it was a nice add-on but it just wasn't it wasn't the feel of Nintendo. Now Nintendo just feels like, uh, I'm just going to put a game out there just for the money. It's not about the money. You need to not ignore your hardcore fans. That's where the money is, is where your hardcore fans are. Don't ignore them because they are the lifeblood of your company. They're going to be the ones that don't you know, chicken out when you release a poor console and jump over to the Microsoft or Sony box, they're going to give you a chance. But no, you've got to keep going for the light players and keep releasing your Zelda and Mario stuff. Ocarina of Time was good. Sunshine was good. And I don't care any hate mail I get on that. I like Sunshine. I didn't like 64. Uh, Galaxy was good. Um, but it just gets overdone. Um... I think they need to retire Mario for a while. Maybe they might bring him back, but I think Mario has seen his days. You know what? I don't really think they should bring him back. 
They've made plenty of games. Now they need to go back to their hardcores and they need to remake them. Well, not remake them, but they just need to focus on those. They need to focus on games like this that actually tell a story. They actually have a plot and they actually have a moral behind them. This game has a moral behind it. And if you pay attention to it, you'll see it. Uh, which isn't really hard to see. That it, The moral's not that hard to see. Um, there's two morals in this game, which, of course, I'm not going to spoil till the end of the game, but you should have already figured it out by that time. Um, by far, this is my favorite game, and I kind of hate to call it a video game because it's not really a video game. It's more like a work of art. Um, Shokasato Atoy really did a good job on this. It's just a shame that no one else can see his work because Nintendo's just, you know, their fat head is just in the clouds completely ignoring their critical fans. It's their critical fan base. If Nintendo, if there's an economic collapse, I mean, the hardcores are going to be, you know, if there's an economic collapse, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to purchase anything, even food. But still, I'm just, I'm just using it as an example because, you know, everybody runs off. They're just sheep. They're focusing on the sheep, and the sheep run off when times get hard. Not true, dedicated Nintendo fans, and they need to really show them some respect before they completely lose their entire audience or they die off completely. But anyway, end of that rant. Let's get on with this. Mother Three fan translation. This is a. Fr uh, can I just read this? You know, I've read this seven or eight times already. I'm not reading it again. You, if you, you've read it by now. And if I've already read it, then I probably already read it. I'm getting confused because this is the eighth recording and I'm completely confused now. So, anyway, let's get this show on the road for the eighth time and hope we don't have any more failures because I don't want any more failures. Uh, yeah, I just had to listen to that for a little while. Okay, what do we have here? The younger twin brother, Gentle Boy. Lucas. I'm using all the default names. I'm not gonna uh, actually name anybody. By the way, um, do not name any of these characters after yourself, okay? Klaus, the old boy, which I didn't... The older twin. I didn't read that. I'm sorry. The strong, kind, and dependable father, which is Flint. And he looks a lot like someone that's epic. Some kind of... Really awesome person that can roundhouse kick. He really does look like it. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I feel sorry for you. My beloved mother, Hinawa. And to this day, I still haven't figured, seen any other game that has a Japanese name in it. Uh, the brave and smart dog. Bony. And what's your favorite food? Omelets. I don't like omelets, actually, because uh, I... I get sick on them and eggs well I don't get sick on them I just eggs don't agree with me I don't like eggs eggs don't like me um, love not my favorite thing but I'm using it anyway because it's developers way the developers wanted you to have it so let's do this tech speed we're doing fast no I want to do tech speed slow well it's not doing very slow here I want to do tech speed slow go really slow motion no we're doing fast because we're doing it the way you're supposed to do it Great, Chuck Connery did that. We're doing strawberry. Uh, is this okay? Lucas Klaus, Flint, not Claus. Santa Claus. It's not Santa Claus. It's Klaus. Complete. I can't believe he, how many people screw that name up. It's so easy. It's not Claus. It's Klaus. I mean, come on. All right, Flint. I mean, basic grammar would tell you that's Klaus. Flint, Hinawa, Boney, omelets, love, fast. Okay.
Lucas, how long are you going to sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos brought their babies over. They're really cute. Get hurry up. And yeah, okay. What do we got over here? The same bed head as always. Well, you kind of naturally are when you wake up. Okay, sorry if you saw... Oh. Okay, sorry if you saw a little cut right there. Um, I had to make sure that the uh, AVI that the AVI file didn't uh, screw up when uh, that scene glitched at the very beginning of the game. Uh, that's really the only part the Glen game glitches up. Um, a lot of people stop playing the game, which is a real shame because that's really the only part the game glitches up at. Anyway, uh, okay, let's go ahead and talk to mom. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up playing for a while, playing with the Dragos. Are you planning on playing it? Are you planning in? Are you planning to play in your pajamas? It's good if you to change your clothes. I want to be different and say no and do stuff the way you're not supposed to in games. Then you can stay inside in your pajamas the rest of your life. That's an awesome line. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? It's good. Yes, I will. It's good if you to change my clothes. You look better in those clothes anyway, Lucas. In your true yellow and red shirt. That is an awesome shirt. I want it. Looking handsome. I still haven't found a shirt on the internet that, ha that has a shirt like Lucas. I just typed in red and yellow striped shirt, but I still haven't found a yeah, red and yellow striped shirt. Anyway. What do we got? Okay, so... Yeah, that should be it, right? Am I missing anything? Because I have a feeling... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, to run, you just push the B button. That's all you do. You don't hold it. You just push the B button and you'll run. You run into something, you'll stop running. If you push the B button again, you'll stop running. You can run upstairs. That's really awesome. Uh, now, if you run in the back of Mom's chair... Ow! I surrender! I surrender! Got some nut bread. That's an awesome mom. When you run into the back of her chair un unexpectedly, she just gives you nut bread. That is awesome. She isn't getting angry or irritated or anything. She just gives you nut bread. That is an awesome mom. Let's get out of here. This music's so happy. I'm gonna give him a southern accent. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Wait up today, stay and head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm not doing a very good job with the southern accent. Actually, I am doing a lot better than the first eight times I gave him a southern accent. Look, you're a late riser. I, I want to chase you off the cliff. How come I can't chase you off the cliff? And why are you making me out to be a late riser? I'm just like rising like that's it. You're awake, Cluck. And over here we have pigs, piggies, oink oink. What the pig next to me says worries me. Don't worry about it. That's all you say is don't worry about it. Okay, never mind. Uh, all cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. I'll be handy to. It'll be handy to remember that. So wait a minute. Why is there a ring in your nose? That's just ugh, that's just disgusting. What happens if you sneeze? Or like, what happens if you're like tied up or something by your nose, like with a rope, and you're tied up to like a to a peg, and you like jerk backwards, and then you like rip the ring out, and your nose along with that? Ugh, that's just creepy. All right, let's get let's get on with this. Uh, I'm way too excited, aren't I? It's probably because I've been playing this uh, exact same map for the past eight times, and I still haven't got anything to show for it. What do we got down here? They're ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them soon. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, okay, so it's going to say you can't go down there because there's ants there, so you can't continue that direction. Well, I'm a thousand times bigger than them. Why can't I just, like, crush them with my feet? It's, like, that easy. A story is a series of memories. Memories and remembered with other memories. And in turn, become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us, frogs, uh, your memories of everything so far. That is what pre that is what pre people refer to as saving. Now then, save your game. Yes, for the ninth or is it the eighth time? We're saving our game, and I'm coming in in eight minutes instead of six, which I normally do. Yes, I get actually been keeping track of how many minutes I keep tr coming in on, on, on the frog. What is Klaus doing to that poor... Oh, man! A little kid is killing dragons! Or, rather, dinosaurs. They're not really dragons. They're dinosaurs, even though their names is Dragos. Puff. Gasp. Er. <gasps> wow. <coughs> man, I talk. 
Wii U, I'm B. I've been play fighting with the Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. They look scary! Come on now, just give it a try. The Dragos are waiting. Klaus! Luke's doesn't know how to weigh me into things yet. Lucas, try to me to jump the to B button. And then hold that B button for a second and then let it go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram to that drag over there. Klaus, show them an example. Yeah, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. You'll never succeed with such a solemn look on your face. That'll true for anything. Just relax. I want to be different and do things the way you're not supposed to. And uh, I want to approach him from the side and run him to him on the side. So he falls over me. I want to see what happens when you do that. Ouch. Um. Wait a minute. His HP is still at maximum and a dinosaur fell on him? I swear, this kid has Chuck Norris powers and his father looks something like that awesome person with the roundhouse kick. And there's more Dragos over here if you want to look at them. Um, at least there's some down here too. Uh, okay, so, let's get on with this. What am I doing? I'm supposed to talk to Klaus. Wahahaha! <laughs> Your ram attacks don't work on me, Lucas! <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could actually ram into Lucas. I didn't know you could ram into Klaus. <laughs> Is that all you got? You whippersnappers still have a long way to- You whippersnappers still have a long way to go before you get the best of me. I didn't actually know you could ram into your, uh, friends. Or, not your friends, your grandfather and your brother. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be talking to Klaus. The harder you ran into them, the more they drag us like it. Move it out of the way! Make way for the great bull cricket! Uh, wait a minute. What are you doing here? I can't just sit idly by while I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! Dude, you know what? I respect you. I really do. Because you're... We're like, combined, we're like 500 times bigger than you. And you still have the guts to take us on, even though you know clearly well it will defeat you. Well, I can say you have guts and I respect you for that. Anyway, bash command, uh, there, if you listen carefully there's a subliminal beat. If you push the A button while you push that while that beat's going on, uh, you can do a combo attack up to 16 hits, and you can pretty much like wipe the floor with him. You can do like a one hit kill, like because you just do 16 hits on him, 16 hits of damage that is. Uh, run, that's I don't know if you can't even do that with the first fight. Uh, good, uh, net bread that'll recover HP. Guard will guard, and you'll take less damage, and you'll see your HP will scroll less fast when you take damage. All right, let me do this, cause I was just starting to get this down um, with the beats. Let me think here. So just give me a minute, okay? Uh, I didn't get it. Nah, I'm still not getting it. Yeah, I, I'm not getting it this time. Oh well. I see you have more spine than I thought. You'd like I could train personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Bull Cricket Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there, bro. Uh. I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. Deserved. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite boys omelets. Oh, lunch, lunch, omelets!
You too, Dad. Now then. Why is he looking at me? Why is he staring at me? Listen, folks, this is how you shave. Dr. Barrage, are you talking to me? You're an NPC, you're not supposed to be able to talk to me. This is how you, sh this is how you shave. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, shaving is absolutely free with 10 cent purchase. Now then, it's time to, it's time for me to return to the story. Fourth wall breaking, you gotta love it. Hey, wait for me! You save me some almonds too, I hope! What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, omelets? Then your favorite food is the same as ours. We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to go we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. Don't be silly! I bet the kids can make it back on I can make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, and I just made my computer shake and my whole computer desk shake because I was laughing too hard. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one of them seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for, for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back at Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking of you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With love, your dearest Inawa. Shadow, that's not a good sign. And we are at night, forest, mountain in the background, and... BOMBS! Why are there BOMBS going off in the forest? That's not normal! Bombs aren't supposed to go off in forests! Al-Qaeda is bombing us! I had to make that joke. And he's telling his kid to stay inside. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to make that Al-Qaeda joke. <laughs> just... <laughs> it just said... Oh no, me, me and jokes. Me. And what are those things? They're they're pink. And I love that sprite animation when he twirls around. That makes me laugh every time. Uh, and they are bombing the forest, and they're setting it on fire. Why are they doing that? 
And we've got some guy that is awakening the entire town, telling him the forest is on fire. And Bronson said, get Flint. Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Flint! 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 Okay, I think this is a good... Uh, time to end it off on, okay? Uh, next part, we will get to the forest and see what's going on with that fire and what those pink things were. Okay, so if you like this part, like it, subscribe to me. It really helps me out. Comment videos, so I'm going to keep these going, okay? Bye.